Hello everyone, my name is Bhaskar Gupta. I'm working as a technical product manager for BCPP. And today, I'm going to give a demo on VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.3, which has been released in May 31st, 2022. The features which are introduced with this latest versions are, now this product is a stateful product, which means it stores the inventory information of the deployed products and its version. And then we have an enhanced graphical user interface which makes the manageability and operations a lot easier and finally we have the api version 2 supportability of the latest vmware products and data center operations which means the registration of vcenter nx60 and vdos data center components have been introduced i'm going to demonstrate the feature of vmware cloud provider lifecycle manager 1.3 also show what the UI looks like and how you can deploy VMware Cloud Director using this tool. This is how the VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager login page looks like. And what you see here is VMware Cloud Foundation 4.3. On top of that, what we are deploying VMware Cloud Director. So the deployment of VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager 1.3, as you see here, it's pretty simple. You can use an OVA tool. So I've logged into the appliance here, uh, the VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager. A server here this is the typical folder structure which i've discussed earlier in my previous sessions you need to have the binaries copied so i've got vmware cloud director uh, binaries copied here in the specific folder structure so if you want to know more about it you can always refer my previous videos or the vmware documentation so we have got the ova and the update folder as well and the respective binaries copied there so apart from the new feature which is the user interface this tool is a stateful now also we have got the api version 2 and these are some of the additional you know, tasks which are added in the postman collection like data center register data center update data center and so as create vcd with distributed nodes you can also see manage certificates and the rest of the tasks like it was available earlier so here let's check the current version of the tool which we are using it's 1.3.0 as you see here along with the build number and the same we can verify from the gui as well so this is an unauthenticated call which we can execute to get the version so i've logged into vmware cloud provider lifecycle manager ui this is the first page which you will see and under create environment all the environments which are already created will be displayed this is the URL by which you can log in. Uh, while deploying the VMware Cloud Provider Lifecycle Manager, we specify the username and password, and the same can be used to log into this. So here, all the existing registered data centers will be displayed. These data centers can be set to avoid exposing a management vCenter to tenants by mistake. However, when deploying a product, the vCenters will be grouped by selecting the purpose making it more obvious which one to use and we can also register a new data center either by choosing uh, existing json file which will make the deployment a lot easier or manually providing the details so either we can add a vcenter and a 60 or vdops and provide the version here the fqdn so we are provided the details the username and the password so the user which we are providing should have sufficient privileges to add the data center and also under purpose you will see that there are different management resource or any options which can select the purpose of this data center and it will be displayed and add the networks manually the port group name gateway and so on so you can just click ok That's it and click next. So once you have provided all the network details, you can go ahead and validate that. And followed by register and also you can download the data center as JSON. So you can utilize that JSON to add or register the data center in future. Okay, now it's succeeded. So let's start registering. So overall you can see the register process or any task here. So it's green, that means it has been completed and the same is displayed here as well. We can log in to the vSphere using the link which is provided to the vCenter which we have already added. And we can see the version, FQD and so on. So we can sort the data center accordingly. And as I mentioned earlier, so we can review the task 
all the tasks can be viewed from here under tasks and you can see the subtask and so on so coming back to the environment so what we see we already have usage meter and rabbit mq installed now we'll go ahead and deploy vmware cloud director 10.3 need to click on create environment so here are two ways which we can choose one we can choose an existing json file and as i mentioned earlier as well the deployment will be a lot easier you don't need to provide the details here uh, but make sure that the details which are already configured or mentioned in the json are proper as you can see the environment name so we need to select the data center and all the information are already pre-configured the product version and details are already mentioned here we need to provide the admin url the license and click next so here we can see that the installation id system name is already pre-configured and so has the admin full name so we need to provide the database password admin email then if it's mount so NFS mount is a uh, prerequisites and also as I mentioned earlier for any product deployment you have to follow the product prerequisites. So NFS we are using the vSAN NFS and this is the path which we are copying. We will provide it here and deployment option small, medium or large. So here we need to provide the public address here and subsequently under advanced settings all the details will be auto populated once we provide public addresses we'll be seeing this momentarily so there it is we can see the api base http url rest api base tenant portal external address and all the details also we can select this mode whether it's thin or thick and enable ssh next comes the nodes we need to configure the nodes so here since we are using existing json we see the details are all in populated we need to provide the password and under advanced settings we can see the cpus memory options as well so here we are providing the details of the nick for both the nick cards and the network as well so we are deploying vmware cloud director with one node and if you want to add another node we can add it here so click next so next we have got the integration so you can add an integration for example if you have rabbitmq you want to integrate with it vmware cloud director you can add it or in that case any other product which allows integration with those you need to select the integration type please enter rabbitmq and not nsxt and provide the host details and all the information as you see here next comes the certificate so we can add the certificate here or we can choose the file as mentioned click next and validate so the validation succeeded so here we can deploy or register as well if it's an existing environment we can register or we can go ahead and deploy for the new deployment before that we can verify all the details from here and also at the end we can download the json to use it later on for any deployment but for this demo let's go ahead and do another deployment from the scratch wherein we need to provide all the details manually and not using a json now what we see we are providing the environment name we send the details and manually we are selecting which cluster resource pool data store and data center to use we are selecting the product which we want to deploy for instance vmware cloud director here we click next we product provide the product details the product name the version the admin credentials here so before that i just want to remind you that before we deploy any versions of the product uh, we have to make sure that the subsequent binaries are copied in that location you're providing the admin password the nfs mount which we have configured earlier as a part of prerequisites and select the deployment options we'll provide the public address here and the subsequent uh, ips will be pre-populated in the advanced sections 
click next here we'll provide the node details the host name vm name root password gateway and the nick information let's start with the host name the vm name as well the root password and finally the gateway details now we'll provide the nick information which is next to the settings on the top before that let's have a look at uh, the advanced settings so here we can modify the cpu memory and select the deployment options as well we'll provide the ip address the network name and the static route so we'll have two nicks for each node so we'll provide the information accordingly we'll provide the second ip address for the next nick and a network name static route click okay so we have configured first node let's add another node so here we'll go ahead with the vmware cloud deployment with two nodes similarly we'll provide the details for the next node as well what we saw earlier so i'm going to fast forward this section to save some time as a repetitive process so here we can see that both the nodes are visible we we'll click next and if we want to add any integration as i mentioned earlier with any product we can provide the details here as well click on next and here we can add the certificates we can choose a file and upload it and we have different type of certificates like console proxy management rest api and so on for more about these certificates please refer to this link for the vmware documentation for the same and we we'll click next and validate so here we didn't provide any certificate so by default it will deploy the cell sign now the validation has been succeeded we'll click on deploy to start the deployment so we can see the subtasks which are graphically presented here all the detailed subtasks are mentioned below as you saw the lcm discover step has been completed successfully that's why it's marked as green now we are in the next pre-validation step, product deployment step, configuration of nodes, uh, configure product, configuration of certificates, post-validation, import and LCM discover step as well. So these are the high level steps which are mentioned and we can verify all the task details from here as well. It will take us right away to the same information page here. So the pre-validation has been successfully completed so we are at the product deploy stage. Here we can see the deployment of OVF is going on for the first node. Similarly, once this has been completed successfully, we should see the second node getting deployed as well. So we can see that the second node is getting deployed and now the deployment and the configuration of node have been completed successfully. Now the configuration of certificate is going on and then we'll have integration and post validation of the deployment importing the environment and finally lcm discover step is the last process which will go on so till step import environment has been completed and we are just left with discover we see so discover step has been completed as well this means that we have successfully completed all the steps to deploy vmware cloud director and also under environment if we refresh we'll be able to see that it shows up from there we can click open and it will take us to vmware cloud director portal where we can log in we'll log in using the credentials which are provided during the deployment process and verify what all have been configured and the version of the products as well so here we are able to successfully log in to the vmware cloud director portal and we can see the cells and the versions the standard three that's it so that's all about the deployment of vmware cloud director 10.3 and vcf 4.3 using vmware cloud provider lifecycle manager 1.3 so here we learned about the new ui feature and what all capabilities it has got with 1.3 i hope you liked this session and feel free to reach out to our slack channel here for any queries and we'll be happy to help